welcome. The tone of these tinctures invites us, calls us in, helps us focus. Listening is such an important part of our spiritual practice and using tools like sound healing instruments to help us focus our listening can be of great help. I'm Janet Kessenick, sound healer, workshop facilitator. I use sound and vibration through my workshops, the rituals that I lead in private sessions with people. And some of my love of using vibration grew out of being a musician where I learned that music is such a beautiful sound, but it's always presented in the context of silence. Before a piece begins, it's quiet. When a piece ends, it's quiet. There are points of cadence and phrase throughout the piece that rest our listening. And so it's so important to recognize that the contrast of sound is silence and the contrast of silence is sound. Playing those together can help us inform our spiritual practice of listening. Listening is so important on a spiritual level. And we listen in, to hear the voice of the divine. We're asking for support, comfort, inspiration, wisdom. And now more than ever, we are Im invited to listen to the divine, to ask and to listen. However, there may be some unconscious inner resistance to listening because our listening on the outside is so almost trauma, probably traumatized by what we're hearing in the news, in the world situation. And we should be engaged with that. We should be listening to that and figuring out how to respond. But just as in a piece of music, if there's nothing but sound and no silence, the music starts to overwhelm us. The same is true in our lives. If we have sound, 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 news, 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 challenging things to listen to, and it's constant, we'll begin to wear out and not even be able to hear ourselves. So while listening is a spiritual practice, we need to secondly ask ourselves, what am I listening to? And thirdly, we need to say, am I taking a break from the listening that I'm doing? Am I finding silence and silent moments? Because I believe that the best way for us to handle what's happening on the outside in our world, and we should be handling it, not running away from it. We should be facing it and contributing to solving situations. But if we, the best way to come to that and to that place of being able to take action is from a place of inner silence inner peace that has been connected to our essence, highest self, and connected with the divine. I have found that listening to beautiful, calibrated vibrational sounds helps my ears to retune and my energy field to recalibrate. And so today we're going to listen to a couple of sound tools that I use in my healing practice that I use in rituals that I am hopeful will help you retune your energy field. And there will be silence because I want you to hear the sound and use that as the means to retune. And then enjoy the contrast of the silence between the sounds. And let the silence be as meaningful to you as the sounds are. We'll return to the tinctures to begin. I invite you to sit back, close your eyes, Take a cleansing breath with me in through your nose, out through your open mouth, and have a little sound meditation with me. Here we go.
gently bring yourselves back, taking one more cleansing breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. See if you can find some vibrations to listen to that you can contrast with silence or that help to bring you to a silent, still place within. Nature offers many of them. Get up in the morning and hear the birds chirping. Listen to the wind in the trees. See if you can get to some running water and listen to that or the ocean. Composed music has some beautiful sounds, of course, also listen to those and enjoy and notice the cadences and the moments of silence in between. I've been listening to a composer, Daniel Elder, Three Nocturnes, really beautiful, that bring me to a true place of stillness. Go out in the evening after dark and enjoy the silence of the starry sky. We'll be using sound meditation in a event that I'm offering next week at Rolling Ridge on Thursday, June 18th at 1 p.m. The turning of the seasons, staying centered as you step into summer's radiance. Please join me there. We'll explore this element of sil silence, how inner silence helps us stay balanced, even in the radiance of the summer, which draws us out and we'll be using sound healing to recalibrate our energy as we transition into the next season. I look forward to meeting you there. Many thanks.